A beautiful Jamaica hi to everybody on this earth. I'm gonna not even try to dare to like this little roach that man it burned my face and beard my burned my beard all up and hell I you'd catch a video of me getting all burnt up. I don't wanna catch on fire today. But I had a bad ass day. You remember in my other video? Somebody loaned me his snorkel, mask, and fins. And so, I, I hurt my feet the whole trip because I got a busted foot. Well, it was busted and it grew back and it's crooked now. So every time you step, you step right on the, the heel of your bone right up on front. And it, not the heel, but in the front of your bone right up between your metacarpals. I'm going to show you where I swam at. Now, we walked probably about 35 minutes along the beach, it seemed like. No tell how long. It was really rocky, had to go up, had to go back down. And so we swam out, way out to the coral reefs. And way, I don't even know how far out there. I know we swam for a long time. And then we sat there and caught the current and swam along the coastline and dropped back in. I'll show you how to, where I started and where I ended up at. A lot of, you know, the GoPro. Somehow shut off after 42 minutes. I was probably out there at least an hour and a half swimming. I got... What I seen and what GoPro seen, two different stories. My eyes was just amazed. It was a more beautiful dive here than in Mexico and Cancun. A lot more beautiful dive. Matter of fact, it's probably the, my, my best snorkeling event I've ever experienced. It was just the, the coral reefs, just plant life, fish life. The visibility was really good. It was about 45, 50 feet maybe visibility in some parts. You could see all the way to the very bottom and I know I was at least 40 feet deep and in one area where it just dropped down this big old huge canyon. I can't wait till I get scuba gear. I gotta bring scuba gear down here when I come back. I have to, with a little teeny motor just zips my ass all around. Better in Mexico, better in California, and I've been scuba diving all over Mexico, all over California. Oh man. Here we go, I'll show you where I started and where I ended up at. Now, if you look, there's three palm trees or three trees right there. I know we started past those, and there's three more. Those four right there. All right, on the last tree right there is where we dropped off at and walk down to the beach. It was real shallow right there. Crystal clear water, as you can see, no, no dirt. The visibility was just clear all the way out there. So we swam, and we got out where the reefs are at, right out there by where the breaking water's at. If you can see, We went about right out there, where the where the where all the waves are breaking at. You can see the two colors. See that light blue and the dark blue. So we were out there, past those reefs out there. Cause what I did, I was swimming on the other side of those reefs, right there. I was swimming on the other side of those reefs. 
and it got really deep out there. And then I come across, come across, and there's some more reefs, and I stumbled upon those reefs right there, and, and stayed on the back side of it, and then way back in the back side, because I could see them from where I was at, about 40 feet behind that. And then I dropped, see that light blue right there? I went inside that. The coral reefs were really so shallow, right, right where that light blue's at, right there. That I swam right to it to just look at it and see what it was, and then I went back into the coral reefs again on the on the other side of the coral reefs and swam. We got all the way to about right there where this. Trying to picture where I was at. And I dropped down. I think that, see that right there where it's breaking at? That's where I ended up getting really going, okay, I gotta go back in because these waves are pushing me against the rocks, the coral reef. So I swam back this way and ended up right. And that's where I started walking it, right there. Started walking right there. Walked all the way up, all the way up, all the way up the coastline. All the way up to those four trees. Got in the ocean, swam past the coral reefs. Past those waves, right out there. And we just swam all the way across the Caribbean Sea out there swam 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 and then you let the current take you back in I start coming back in about right there and I just started drifting yeah about right there is where I I crossed right underneath I seen those breaking so I crossed right there see that clear stuff right there I st the blue right there I started cutting through there no, that's not it. This area right here. Sorry, folks. That blue area. I cut through there and, and traveled along there and then started coming out here, back to here. And the current will take you right back into this place. Am I going to do it again? Am I going to do it again? God damn right I am. You know what? Right as soon as I got out there, my leg, I thought it was going to be my busted, broken up leg that was all crooked and everything else. I thought that was going to give me the bad, bad time. It was my other leg and my muscle cramped up as soon as I got in the water and started kicking. I, I pulled a muscle, I don't know. So I was actually... I, I couldn't even kick hardly the whole trip. The current took me out there. I just went along with the current. And one time, I couldn't even kick. My legs wouldn't even kick. I was in so much pain. I started using my hands. You could see me use my hands to swim in the video. And uh, my, my, the whole trip, the whole hour and a half, my leg hurt. I need one of those little motors with a fan on it, a little blade fin on there. Zzz, little motor, zzz, scoop my ass underneath the ocean. And I need some scuba gear. But you know what? I'm gonna go buy me some snorkel and fins anyway. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm 55, man. I, my hand, my finger on my, my hands, my left hand, my fingers started tingling, man. I looked at them, they just looked like raisin, raisins, dried up raisins. And it and, and felt so weird, the pain, the electricity. I never felt it before. 
it's a new experience for me. It was, the water is kind of cold. After a while, I, I could feel the coldness. But I just kept swimming and didn't think about the cold and just concentrated on the fish that I seen. I probably seen 20, at least, excuse me, at least over 20 species of different fish. Man, I seen, man, I hiding. GoPro, what the hell is going on? I wish this camcorder had a underwater equipment for it. Man, I seen this big old huge fish. I was sitting right over it. I mean, I was going, this is bitch and this is a badass photo. I went through the video real fast. Yeah, I didn't see it. I didn't see hardly any of the fish I seen. It just it didn't the GoPro it just couldn't capture it how where I was at, I guess. My eyes could see it though. Beautiful fish. Well, look at my video GoPro. It it's before this upload, okay? Yeah, I'll make sure I'll put it up before this upload. Had fun everybody. Carlos. I'll let you look at it one more time. Badass swim. Bad oh, this guy does it about five days a week. And he stays out there for four or five hours. Yeah, I bet he's probably swimming out there still looking for me. Going, where the fuck is that green go at? But uh, hopefully he makes it in and doesn't look for me. Because uh, I just went, he went one direction. And I just seen what I wanted to see and seen these coral reefs. And I just swam right to them and just adventured around like I was in another world. Gosh. Only, only inches away from me too. I got up there so close to coral reefs. The waves drug me back and I was going, damn, that's a close call to a coral reef. And it pushed me back away. And, I couldn't even swim, it was that shallow. Oh, here you go. Enjoy the video. Watch it. Yeah, everybody, what a badass swim. And I, hey, if I can do it, I know anybody can do it. And end up right back there, right there. The current just took me along, everybody. I didn't swim hardly at all. You know, I had a paddle just to, because I knew I had a long ways to travel and I only had a certain amount of time to do it. But I did see that light blue right there. Right there, man. I was right over that coral reef. Went right in front of it and then right there. I went right there to see what it looked like. Where that wave was at, I got a video on, on I thought I had a video of it. There's the waves are crashing. And then I went back into the reefs again. Went back in there. Went across, cross, cross, went back over to those reefs and then swam. Once I seen those reefs, I was going, I'm getting too close. So matter of fact, I think past when I got past that, I dropped back here and swam right to there. Oh man, 55, what a rush. What a swim. Yeah, that guy took me way out there and just laughs, says, see you later, gringo. <laughs> But uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it to the fullest. That's a long swim looking at it. He says he goes to the point. He goes right, at, he says I go out there and swim out to the point and go way past the reefs out there. And then he says he swims over. All the way over to here. He does that five days a week. Six sometimes. 
Tuesday. He never works on Sunday, so. Well, everybody. If you're figuring where that's at, this is a Nautil Bay right in here. Gosh. Paradise. Or should I say, the life I'm living seems like I'm in paradise. Take care, everybody. Till my next video. You know, I don't even know what I can come up with next. <laughs> you guys gotta go out to see where all the where all the break white there. See that? All that, that's all coral reefs right out there. Just big old huge coral reefs. Well, we were way behind that. We were in the middle of that shit swimming around. It got up to about 40 feet deep in some areas. Well, take care. And that, that blue, like turquoise blue, all that is is just white sand. Pure white sand, no vegetation. Oh, it does have some kelp growing in a little bit, but not that much. Some of the coral is dead, some of it's still living, but the dead, God, the dead coral, and the growing so big out there, just, ah, I've never seen structures like that in my life. Gosh, I can't wait till I go scuba diving there and get right in the bottom, in the middle of that stuff. I don't think I'd ever want to come back out. It's too beautiful, trust me. Too beautiful, everybody. Gosh, way too beautiful. Until next video, enjoyed it. I enjoyed making this one. Just memories just takes me back. Well, my battery's going dead anyway.